As changes are made to a project, BIM 360 team will retain a history of the change requests, making it easy to trace the evolution of a final design. In this session, we'll look at how BIM 360 team maintains versions of design files. Now, I've just launched BIM 360 team. I'm going to jump into a project. I'll select this one called Fish Pond Road Improvements. And then I'd like to look at the plan sheets, so I'll choose the plan sheets folder. And then I'm going to select this plan and profile sheet one. When this comes up, if I zoom in, we can see the markups that I added earlier. Let's assume that these changes have been made. I'm going to jump over to Civil 3D and we'll take a look. In Civil 3D, I can see the layout. Let me zoom in. Here we can see the new additions. I have a proposed box culvert and the revised proposed grading. Let's zoom out. I would like to plot a new version of this sheet. To do that, I'll come up and launch the plot command. And then I'm going to plot this to DWF. So for my printer, I'll choose DWF 6E plot. And then I'll come down and click OK. I'm going to save this plot in my plots directory. And I'm going to give it the same name as the original file. That was 03-PP1.DWF. Let's click Save. Once the plot is finished, I'm going to return to BIM 360 team. Over here, I'm going to jump back to the plan sheets directory, and then we'll upload that new DWF file. I'm going to do that by clicking the Upload button. I'll choose File. I'll select the new DWF, and I'll click Open. Right here, we can see that new file is being processed. When the processing is finished, I'm going to select the file to open it in the viewer. As you can see, we are now seeing the latest version of this file. Let me zoom in. There's the culvert and the proposed grading. This sheet now becomes my blank slate to add new comments and markups if necessary. Take a look at the top of the screen. Notice this says V2. This is the second version of this file. If I open the version menu, we can see all the versions. If I select a prior version, I can open it up in the viewer. In this case, I selected version 1. Here we can see those markups. Let me open the menu. We'll flip back to version 2. Using the version menu, I can trace and view the history of any design file. For a more comprehensive list of change requests, I can come over and open the comments pane. Now, we don't have any comments for the current sheet, but you can see version 1 has two comments. As additional changes are made to this design file, a history of all the change requests can be found over here. When I'm finished viewing the comments, I'll go ahead and close the pane, and then I'm going to return to the top-level project folder. So, when it comes to project collaboration, change requests are a natural part of that process. Now, as important as those changes are, it's just as important to know the history behind those changes. Fortunately, BIM 360 Teams versioning feature makes it easy to track the evolution of any design. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.